All right, we are uh, in Medicine Hat at BFBS, which that's, is... Um, that's the radio station in... the radio station. B in military base. Yeah, yeah British. Yeah. British military base right yes. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, we're going in doing, what, an interview? And the radio uh, station, yeah. And I just woke up. And yeah, uh, and maybe even set up, uh, try to set up a show for for uh, later on. Yeah. Not later on today, but I mean later, you know, sometime in the future. In the future. You know, right. and play for these guys because uh, they they played our music a lot uh, back in 2006. We wanted that's to start right, again. that's right. We yep. wanted to start again. Yep. But you know what, folks? Say you know what? After this is our last day, and we're gonna be heading back home. Yep. Coming back to Vancouver. Vancouver. Honestly. And we're going to be doing that show on the 27th. So you know what? Y'all need to come on out and really come check it out, man. So yeah, we're yeah. good. You yeah. Know? yeah. Gonna kick, kick it. And today we're playing at the... Nope. <laughs> at the Ottoman Lounge. Yeah, yeah the, the Ottoman, Ottoman Lounge. Lounge. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what happens when you just wake up, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Lounge, yeah, we did just wake up, actually. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, we just woke up. That is why you... We were walking from Red Deer here and, um, you know, didn't have much sleep. That's yeah. only that happened on Covering up the bloodshot eyes. Yeah. That's yeah. Why it's early. Right well, it's early for us. 10 something. Uh, so got, yeah, it's 10.05 right now. Yep. Early. In the morning. Okay, so we are going to go inside go on, and we're going to film it. Peace. All right. Okay. BS, yes. Canada, 104. Yeah. Point one of them. Brendan Harris Band say goodbye. Taken from their latest album, Pocket Full of Holes. They're on tour at the moment and in the studio to chat to us today, which is great. Brandon, welcome on to the show. Uh, it's very awesome to be here, actually. No worries. So you've got the rest of the band in here in the studio. We're all in here. Yeah. 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 So uh, first of all, welcome to Ralston, uh, your first kind of uh, a journey down here, I guess. Yeah, we tried to make it uh, last in 2006. Mm -hmm. We were together playing that song. Uh, Rewind and starting. Yeah. Yep. We didn't make it out here, but we definitely we found out uh, found a way to get here. So. And what a welcome you got when you arrived in the village. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! yeah. 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 Good for sure. You were kind of lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it might be that great big truck that you, the bus that you were coming up in. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, were, they were thinking, what's going on here? Yeah. 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 So. Uh, so what do you, uh, you guys originally come from uh, Vancouver, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, all come from British Columbia. Yeah. What's it like down? I've only been here in, in the country for three weeks today and I'm just loving it. Oh, oh really? Uh, I'm loving it. It's, um, it's, uh, it's okay. It's one of the most yeah. beautiful places, but I mean, weather-wise, I think now it's kind of like this right now. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's awesome. I run the mountains in the ocean and actually it's kind of similar to being on the other side of uh, the country in Prince Edward Island, you know? Beautiful. So what, um, uh, when we talk about your music, it's, uh, it's an interesting mix of music. Yeah, it is. Um, how, how would you explain in your words how your music sounds? Mm. I mean, we just say it's pop, rock, reggae. The thing is, is that it's unique in its own, right? We didn't try to imitate anybody, it just came out the way it did. When we play, when we get together, we all just put in our parts, and it just comes out that way. So, I mean, we're just saying pop, rock, reggae, but really it's the Brandon Paris sound. Mm. Brad and Paris band sound, it's our own unique sound. Did it all come together just naturally by itself? Yes, it did. Take, yeah? Yep, naturally. It just naturally. Took some time, yeah. you know, to get to where we are. About 2007 sure. is yeah. when 2007 is when we really found uh, our, our real sound. Yeah. I'm not sure you replace two uh, players. Right. Brian and Brian. Yeah. 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 Brian and Brian. Yeah. 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 They came in. But it's a real collaboration yeah. with all the music. I think when we get together the right songs, it comes up with uh, uh, an idea, usually from a couple guys, and then we can take it from there. So when it comes to you write all your own music? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that must be quite difficult. Or, uh, where do you get the inspiration for the music? Or the songs, and the, you know, the lyrics, and putting it together? Where does the inspiration come? Well, melodies. I mean, a lot of songs, Brian came with a lot of the melodies. The main noise? And Mark. Yeah. So where they come? Where they get it from? I yeah. don't know. I think it's something in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the inspiration comes from. Lyrics, though. I mean, I I usually when I listen to the lyrics, I mean to the melody, I listen to it and and I wait to see what type of memories it gives me. I find music start to spark some sort of uh, memories, right? And so when that happens, then I think of a certain situation that happened. And then um, I just write lyrics to it. That's how that's how it works for me, anyway. It said on the on your, your first album when you released that, a lot of it was was very personal. The first one, very personal. Yeah, some of them, oh, uh, quite a few of them. And now with the new album, uh, the new album is well, 
the first album was more like therapy, right? And uh, by the time I was finished, uh, you know, we recorded it and played it so many times on tour, um, it's kind of like, I feel like a new person. So this new album is, we decided, let's make this a little more fun, more energetic. There's only one ballad in this one, okay. right? I mean, of course, it touches some personal things, but still, it's made to, it still kind of has that party vibe, right? right. So when you go to our show, it's uh, it's quite awesome. Uh, high energy. Very high energy, energy yeah. yeah. And we, uh, the crowd participation that we have, um, it just leaves everyone buzzing at the end of the show and uh, getting the wallet out ready to buy some. Yeah. Yeah. Pocket for a hole, right? How hard is it to break into the Canadian music scene? Canadian? Ah, depends. I mean, a lot of it's all timing. As far as people uh, like breaking in and having people uh, accept their music, uh, it's not very hard. People like us right away. They like our music. As far as radio stations, uh, you know, there's so many factors involved. Like yeah. they're, they're kind of seeing how the trend is going, and then you know, they got people on holidays, and I don't know, you know, if someone, uh, you know, peed in their breakfast in the morning, so you know, you don't know what they're going to be thinking when they're adding your yeah. song, right? Yeah. So I mean, we just do what we do, yeah. and uh, hope people like it. And um, so far on this tour, we've gone from Vancouver right to PEI and back. And um, you know we're getting a great response from from everybody. We're really pleased with that. So uh, yeah, the the album itself is really a feel good album, and and uh, the response has been fantastic. And you know, saying that it's fantastic, especially being that we're independent. We're fighting big labels yeah. who push their artists, and we're on our own completely self managed. Not that we want to, but we're doing it right now, um, and. Yeah, much music is supporting us, playing our, our two uh, videos, and we've got some major radio stations that are playing yeah. us, and we're yeah. going to radio stations that are allowing us, such as you, yeah. uh, to uh, to talk and get your time, right? So, I mean, that in its own is a major accomplishment, you know? It is, yeah. So how long, how long have you, been, you guys been on tour at the moment? Uh, I'm almost a month and a half now. Right. Yeah. And where, where else are you going to be going from? from we, here? we just got one more. One more show and we're done. Tonight. One more show and tonight. 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 Yeah. Tonight. So do you want to tell everyone where it's going on? Yep. It's uh, at the Ottoman Lounge in Madison Hat. And the time is, we I think uh, it's 10 o'clock. And uh, I believe, uh, I think we're having some sort of special on for people out here. Right? First That's ten big. First ten people from the base, from the base free. First ten from uh, from TFP Suffield. Yeah. Back to the go down to the Ottoman Lounge tonight and go and watch uh, uh, the Brandon Parrott band do their stuff. Get in yeah. free tonight. So yeah. What would you? How would you turn around and um, uh, kind of? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Now? How would you kind of? If, if you were to turn around and say something right, we're going to come tonight and and, and this is what you're going to see. How, how would you best explain what people are going to see or how they're going to feel when they come see? Anyone want to answer that? Well, it's going to be a high energy show. A yep. lot of movement. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of movement. Um, so there's a real interactive show. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They'll, yeah. they'll well, be entertained. For yeah. sure. Think about yeah. this way. You know, there's a lot of artists out there. You know, they have their CD, you buy their CD and you listen to it. When you go to the show, it seems like the same thing. Yeah. You're like, you're thinking, well, I could have just sat at home. And, yeah. But it's not with us. With us, it's like you go there and you're, wow, this is totally worth the money. You're being completely entertained. Yeah, sure. We're yeah. not just standing there playing for ourselves. We're playing for everybody. And yeah, it is a show. Yeah. We're having fun. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We're, We're having, having fun. fun. Yeah. You're now there having fun. Right? right, your latest track, I believe, is uh, Can't Hate You. Uh, where did the idea for this come? This well, is a kind of funny <laughs> <story>. <laughs> It's a weird one, actually. This one, uh, the, the verse uh, guitar part was actually going to be a throwaway part. And uh, the script was, now you got to write something. Yeah, so uh, I finished the music and I sent it out to to both these guys at the same time, and they both had completed the entire song. <laughs> completely different. Completely different. They looked at each other and they went, "Uh oh." Yeah. <laughs> so we both found out that we we actually uh, both wrote to it. So we said, "Well, let's see. Let's just let's see, let's, let him sing his song and I'll sing mine." Yeah. And actually, I actually threw my my song away because, like, oh, well, he started it first. No, so I'll I let pick that paper. Yeah, let's see what's on that paper. Sure enough, and he picked it up. And he sang his chorus part. I go exactly. I like his verses. And I like my chorus. Oh yeah, just so smash it together. We didn't have to change any of the lyrics. Yeah, it was beautiful. It just and it came out like that. Yeah. You know, now so much music. Yeah. yeah. This is how it is then. Can't hate you from the ladies' album. Uh, Pocket full of holes. Can't afford to miss it, fellas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is it. This is the ladies' track. It's called Can't Hate You. 